This is Flipper Zero. People call it as a hacking device. You would have seen so many videos in the internet that people use this device to unlock their car, hack their phone. But in this video, I'm gonna show you a proof that it's all totally fake. Let's get started. If this device is fake, why people calling it as a hacking device? And what kind of attack this Flipper Zero can perform? Flipper Zero is a kind of device that helps you to clone and record the frequencies from the original device. And it performs the replay attack. Once you recorded the frequency, when you replay it, it will perform the same action what the original device does. That is the only thing this Flipper Zero can do. Now you can ask me, I have seen so many videos in the internet that people using this device to hack their car, phone and so many things. But how you are saying it's fake? I will show you a live proof for that but before performing these kind of attacks we have to update the firmware in this flipper zero flipper zero comes with a default firmware but we have to change that default firmware to unleashed firmware let's do that connect your flipper zero with your pc then open your browser and type unleashed firmware for flipper zero click on the second link it will take you to the dark flipper github page now scroll down and go to the install firmware via browser update click on the default button it will take you to the lab.flipper.net page click on the drop down and select release.cfw and click on update. After clicking the update button, the unleashed firmware will automatically installed on your Flipper Zero. Okay, I'm done with the firmware update. We changed from the default firmware to the unleashed firmware. Now it should hack everything. Now it's time to test it on a live environment. I'm gonna take this Flipper Zero with me to the Costco parking. I'm going to sit in the car and start recording all the frequencies around me. People will lock and unlock their cars and uh, let's see whether this Flipper Zero is capturing any frequencies around me. I was waiting outside the Costco for a very long time. This Flipper Zero actually captured few frequencies, but it did not record anything. In this Flipper Zero, we have an option called Frequency Analyzer. If you turn on this Frequency Analyzer, it will capture all the frequencies numbers around you. Every frequency will be different, like it starts from 300, 380, 400, 700, 900, so it's all different frequencies. Then, once you get those frequencies, what you have to do is like you have to go back to your sub giga ads, then redraw, click on the config then you have to change your frequency and click on record and if the same person come back from the shop and tries to unlock his car do you think this device will capture those frequency yes it will capture but do you really think it will unlock the car it will not every car will have the rolling code technologies but the rolling code will never let you to unlock their cars this flipper zero attacks is all old-fashioned it will never work on the real time I waited outside the casco for a very long time more than an hour to capture all the frequency each frequency is different from one another you cannot assume all the frequencies from every car so it's totally waste of time even this device cannot able to match my own car frequency because mine is mercedes-benz and it has a rolling code technology also so it will not able to record or uh, replay it this thing will not work you cannot hack anything that is not even possible with this flipper zero flipper zero will only record and replay i bought this flipper zero for almost 375 dollar all it can do is turn on and turn off somebody's TV. If you have a cell phone with an infrared, try installing the Universal Remote app and you can perform the same kind of action why you need the Flipper Zero. Let me show you another proof that Flipper Zero cannot hack your garage doors too. Open Frequency Analyzer menu on your Flipper Zero. Now click on the key fob. Now your key fob will transfer some frequency to your garage door to open or close it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going back to the redraw menu and go to the config and I have to set up the frequency. The frequency is already set up so it's 390.000. Now I'm start recording it and when I click on the key fob the frequency will be captured on this flipper zero device as you can see the frequency is got captured so i'm turning on i'm turning off i'm doing two three times so all these things will be captured but i'm trying to replay it again 
as you can see the garage door is not even closed or open i'm playing the same frequency again and again when you click on the hold button automatically replay it but still the garage door is open it not even closed Finally, I used my key fob again to close the garage door. Let's move to the phone hacking part. At the very beginning of this video, I showed you a clip that Flipper Zero is cracking a phone password. You said Flipper Zero don't hack anything, then what is this? Let me show you how they do this. Go to this GitHub page and you can see this file top 65 four digit pin bf.txt. This file will have a list of passwords. It's nothing but a brute force attack. All we have to do is just download this file and put it into the bad USB path. Now connect your Flipper Zero to your computer, then open your Flipper Zero app, go to the SD card path and go to the bad USB, then copy and paste this file into the bad USB path. Now your Flipper Zero is ready to brute force your phone. Now I connected my phone with the Flipper Zero. All you have to do is like we have to go back to the Flipper Zero bad USB menu. Now I'll go to the Flipper Zero uh, bad USB menu and we have to open the file which we uh, added to the flipper zero now so i went into that path now we have to click that particular file so as you all can see my phone is currently locked initiated the brute force attack on my flipper zero but why it's not getting cracked like how they show in the video reason is your phone should not in the lock mode or your phone should not have any other authentication like a fingerprint as you all can see my phone has a fingerprint enabled along with the key password if you have the fingerprint enabled on your device then the brute force attack will not work because the fingerprint will block you to do that so when you're hacking somebody's phone make sure they don't have any other authentication other than this this four digit pin code so find somebody's phone who just have the four digit code since my phone password is just one two three four you all know and one two three four is on the number one place in this list also but why my phone is not getting cracked easily The reason for the delay is the Flipper Zero is getting blocked by so many authentication as I already said I have enabled the fingerprint on my phone. All I have to do now is I have to log inside my phone using the password 1234 then go to the security settings and I have to delete the fingerprint option which I have on my phone. So that is what I'm doing right now. So I successfully deleted the fingerprint option. Now the flipper zero should work. This is the least option that I can try. Now let's lock the phone and rerun the flipper zero. Then let's see how it's getting cracked. Now you know how true this video is. As I already said, Flipper Zero cannot do anything. If you really want to hack somebody's car, you have to make sure what kind of frequency that car fob is gonna make. Then you have to change the frequency inside your device. You have to be very closer to that person. Then you have to start record it. Then you have to capture that frequency. Then you have to replay it. These kind of attacks are not even possible on the real life. These things will never work like what they show in movies. Even though if you attach any ESP32 board or an evil twin board to perform any kind of wireless attack, Attack. maximum what you can do is like you can create a rogue AP and you can perform a D auth attack you cannot hack into anybody's Wi-Fi this is all about flipper zero so thank you so much for watching this video let me know your thoughts and comments I'll see you guys in another video